Right now, we are going to talk about a growing problem uh, in Los Angeles as we head into the holiday season. The LA area is facing a hunger crisis. The Jewish Federation of Greater Los Angeles is leading a campaign to help provide added assistance to the needy this year. And here to uh, talk about that and the situation is Ron Galperin. He is um, the chair of Fed Up with Hunger, uh, the initiative. Uh, the initiative fed up with hunger. Uh, Ron, thanks for joining us today and uh, talking about this important issue. Good morning. Thanks for uh, having me over. Well, it's, it's appropriate uh, on Thanksgiving weekend when, when so many of us um, uh, have are blessed with, with, with the bounty of food and, and we forget there are a lot of people that don't uh, have that uh, blessing. Uh, this new number is striking that I've heard that, that, that the food pantries have seen a 50% increase uh, in, 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 in requests. Some food pantries and some food banks have actually seen a 60% increase uh, wow. in people coming. And uh, the number of people who are hungry, unfortunately, is really growing. Actually, I picked up today's uh, New York Times. Oh. It's uh, right over here. And um, it's showing that food stamp use soars across the U.S. So it's a problem in the whole country, but it's particularly acute in Los Angeles. What are, what are we seeing in, in Los Angeles in terms of, who, in terms of who's, our, who's making those requests? And is there enough supply to, uh, to, to deliver to these people? Well, uh, the estimate is that there are about 1.25 million people who are confronting hunger or, or food insecurity in Los Angeles. Right. That doesn't mean people who are, are emaciated like we usually think about hunger, but people who don't have access to good food. Okay. People who have to make a choice between paying the rent and actually getting uh, breakfast on the table for their kids. There are hundreds of thousands of kids in the LA Unified School District who qualify and get for breakfast at school. And if they didn't get it, they wouldn't actually be eating breakfast. So there's a lot of, um, a lot of families then coming in and asking, is there enough supply, is there enough donations to, to, uh, to satisfy this need? Well, a lot of people have stepped up to the plate and uh, we've helped organize quite a number of food drives, but that really isn't enough. Uh, first of all, when you bring your cans and when you bring all sorts of foods to uh, the food pantries, that's a wonderful thing to do. But you also got to think about whether you're bringing something nutritious or whether you're bringing, a, uh, whether you're bringing some kind of uh, sugar cereal. And uh, you want to make sure that you bring the kind of things that you'd want to eat that you want your kids to eat, as opposed to just the, the junk that you're trying to get rid of your pantry. Interesting point. Uh, so we're seeing that, that people are kind of bringing not so great food. Some it, people yeah. bring really great stuff, and some of them bring a lot of sugary snacks. Ah, so, so uh, the Captain Crunch stunts. Uh, you know, try to stay away from donating that kind of stuff. Well, if you've yeah. got it, then bring it in. Uh, but it's really not enough. One, one of the things that we're focused on is, is changing public policy. Actually, Fed Up With Hunger uh, launched its blueprint to end hunger. Mm. And uh, we're looking at how do you end hunger, not just how do you make it a little bit better. And when you look at the numbers, interestingly enough, only half the people who qualify for food stamp assistance are actually getting it in L.A. County. So that's about $720 million a year in federal assistance that we're not getting. So where's that going then? If well, not it's it. not coming to us. Actually, California and Los Angeles are, are what are known as a, a donor state or a donor county to uh, the federal government. Oh, it's that imbalance of what we give and what we have. Exactly. Okay. And uh, if we actually help connect people with what they are eligible to get, then we'd get about $720 million more into the economy and a lot more food that people could get. You talk about changing policy. I know it's going to go before the LA uh, Board of Supervisors this week. What, what type of policy change are we talking about? Well, uh, actually, uh, at our uh, press conference this uh, past week, what we had was a um, uh, representative of the LA County Board of Supervisors, Xavier Slavsky. We also had uh, from the City of Los Angeles, from the school board, and each of them have brought motions to really make this a priority. Because if you don't make it a goal to end hunger, if you just kind of uh, are around the edges of the issue, then you're not going to solve that problem. So it's about changing the public policy. It's about educating people about how serious the problem is. Because we go to the supermarket, we're out there, we see so much food, and we think, how can people be hungry? And yeah. yet, it's a reality. Yeah, so, well, I mean, what needs to happen besides just donating food? I mean, we still need people to do that. But there needs to be a kind of a fundable altering of the way we think about this or approach this problem? Absolutely. Um, there are a lot of things that we can do. First of all is to really connect people with what they qualify for. 
There are also what, what are known as food deserts in Los Angeles. There are, there are some neighborhoods where there are a lot of supermarkets, but there are other neighborhoods yes. where there are an awful lot of liquor stores. And go try and find some fresh fruit or fresh vegetables. South LA has a big problem. Exactly. With that, yeah. uh, it's also, let's face it, a lot easier to load up on carbs by, uh, by buying fast food than it is to get some fresh fish, some fresh meat, yeah. and that's what's really nutritional. Uh, and it's also connecting uh, uh, the seniors with ways to get food more easily. There's some seniors who just can't get out of the house to even yeah. buy groceries. So we've got to find better mechanisms for that. And a better infrastructure for it. Absolutely. All right. uh, Ron Galperin, thanks so much uh, for joining us. Uh, to be continued, we hope uh, to invite you back. To Great. Talk and about we, one, we one invite one everybody to uh, please visit our website, which is fedupwithhunger.org. Okay. And uh, can you'll they find there? they can donate. They can find out lots of information. They can uh, find all the uh, places that are serving the uh, hungry. And uh, you can volunteer. And if you need help, you can go there and get it. Okay. Ron Thank Galbraith. you so much. Thank you so much for coming in. Appreciate it. You're watching Sunday LA. We'll be right back. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for doing this.